Hi everyone, this is Shana TV. TV. As you can see, this is our first Le Seraphim album review. We decided to do this because we found out that they have two Japanese members, they have a Korean American member, and they have Korean members, and that's right up our alley. Yeah. And then the more we dove into the album and the meaning of the songs, I just started getting really into them. <laughs> that's why we're here. They happen to be also in Hive label. But hybe. Hybe. it's not like we are only picking people from the yeah, hive, right. you know. Yeah, <laughs> we happen to like them. The very first thing we noticed, Sean noticed, was the album art. Before we even looked into the meaning of the album or anything, Sean was like, "Oh, it's kintsugi, which is um, a Japanese art of mending together broken pottery, usually with gold." Um, resin or other materials. So I've actually done this before. It's so cool because I heard the song like Anti Fragile. The album art just reminded me that it means pretty much the same thing. Yeah. In Japan, there's this concept of wabi sabi, which is beauty in imperfection and um, impermanence. And I think it's because Japan has a lot of seasonal changes and natural disasters. So people kind of had to embrace this. Um, you know, the volatility of nature. So one of the art forms that came out of the concept of wabi-sabi is kintsugi. It's a really healing process because it's like a, a reminder to yourself that like just because you've been broken before doesn't mean that you're not beautiful or like that imperfection is bad. It's embracing the imperfection. Yeah. And that's what this album is about. Yeah. So it's pretty cool <laughs> that that's the album art. I think it's pretty powerful that a girl group, this young girl group is doing this kind of uh, concept. That's why I also wanted to cover this album. The intro track to this album is The Hydra. Do you think I'm fragile? <laughs> So this track is like an intro to the whole album. It's kind of a representation of what this album is gonna do. And the Hydra is like the mythological beast that show up in Greek uh, mythology. Basically, the Hydras, you try to cut their head and then they have now they now have two heads. They multiply. So, yeah, so the more you try to kill it, like it gets stronger and stronger. It's literally saying like even if you try to put me down, I'm gonna get even stronger. So I, I thought it was pretty cool and in three different languages. Yeah. It's just really nice that they're highlighting the two Japanese girls' backgrounds. I haven't seen that happened before. Mm. The group name itself, like it's it's Le Seraphim, but it's anagram of I'm fearless. So they struggled so much. Like Anna watched a documentary about yeah. them. And I know how hard it would be in pretty show. Like you have to survive throughout like multiple episodes and you do anything to survive during that show. Yeah. And now you are ready and now you're fearless. You're not gonna let anyone put you down. The next song is the second song and the title song of this album, Anti Fragile. I just really love this song. It's so catchy. The dance is a really cool blend of like strength, like masculine energy and feminine energy. This is like the key move, but then they do like, they flip out and then they do like a cat thing. Mm. <laughs> so I just feel like the, the choreography really matches the lyrics and the concept of the song and the album. I googled the word anti-fragile because I didn't think it was a real word because you would think of not fragile as like resilient or strong, but there's actually like a philosopher who wrote a book 
about anti-fragility specifically. It's different from being resilient or strong because that means you just bounce difficulty off of you but you stay the same. But anti-fragility is when something comes to attack you, you get stronger. This is a really interesting concept for a girl group to use as the core of their album because a lot of members of this group the public has watched them struggle for years right and that's a really new marketing tactic i've been into k-pop since second gen and at that time it was definitely like you're not supposed to know how hard these people worked they're just born talented gods and goddesses <laughs> and they just function through the idol world easily but recently it's changed so that you see them on the produced shows and you watch them train and go through these struggles and then come back stronger. I just find it really interesting that that style of marketing has changed a lot. Kazuha-chan has a line specifically that says That's specifically about her. She left her world of ballet to become a K-pop idol. Right after that, Sakura has So that's also about this experience that they had coming together and then in the chorus they say like like it's okay if i fall mm. it's okay if i fail because i'm anti-fragile i'm not just strong where i'm not going to fail it's fine if i do fail i'm just gonna bounce back basically anna covered everything i was gonna say whoops <laughs> yeah but the lyrics say like I will take all your, you know, attention and then, uh, you know, minor jealousy towards, you know, like how cool I am. Mm. But I'm not gonna be a marionette, be controlled by you. Mm. You know, so like that, that's so cool. So because like usually idols, you know, this industry is very harsh and then you have to be the one that is idolized by people and you're often asked to do what they want but they're refusing it they're like i'm not gonna be your doll i'll be the one that's gonna do what i want and be strong still the next song is impurity <laughs> The lyric for this song is really nice. They're talking about how they should be accepted as who they are. And impurity in this case is used as like, I'm not pure, like innocent, but that is good. Mm. You know, like for example, So like even if like I have a lot of uh, injuries and wounds, that means I'm strong and then not as transparent, but that is natural and beautiful. Also it says So like going through Kashibake like thorny road is considered harsh, you know, like it's not an easy path to go through, but Sometimes, sometimes you just have to do it, you know, it's natural. And then if you go through it successfully, you feel stronger mm. the next time. You'll probably do better. That's so. the concept of anti-fragile. Yeah, <laughs> everything comes together. So adding on to what Sean said, this song also reminded me of the Kintsugi. Because <laughs> it's like, I'll show you my impurities. They make me maybe more beautiful, they make me stronger. Yeah. Instead of like hiding that it was broken, highlighting those broken pieces. Yeah. This concept comes from Japan, like accepting imperfection, embracing brokenness, but current Japanese society is very perfectionist. When we were breaking them, they were like, okay, you have to wrap it up correctly and make sure you break it from the correct angle so you get the pretty line. Like, that reminds me of this album too. Like they're singing about accepting impurities, but there's a very specific way they have to do that. Mm. So it's like inherently, wow. inherently contradictory. But this meant a lot to me because as a half Japanese, half white American person, I have a lot of these like broken identity pieces and like they have two Japanese members and a Korean American member who have talked about the struggles they've had like with identity. 
이제 한국인인데 미국에 살고 있는 한국인이었잖아요. 그래서 뭔가 정체성에 대한 고민을 되게 많이 했단 말이에요. 나는 누구일까? 나는 뭔가 어딜 가도 어울리지 않는 뭔가 그런 존재? 그래서 음악이 많이 좋았던 것 같기도 한데 뭔가 음악을 하면서 나를 조금 찾아갈 수 있는 그런 길을 찾기도 했어요. Oh, I, th I think it's pretty cool. The, this song highlights those like different parts of them. But at the same time, I do worry a little bit as like an only for yeah. them. They're singing about having impurities and like embracing imperfection. The idol industry is built on the illusion of perfection and purity, especially for girl groups. I don't think they are immune to that. I wish that the industry and the fans and the public could give idols a little more room to actually be human. I hope that they try and bring out whatever they tried. Their te tears, sweat, wh whatever they like had to spend, they bring out as performers. Um, but I hope they also accept the fact that they can't be perfect, you know? and then it should be okay. I just hope we can take baby steps to actually, like I could break this to smithereens and still kind of put it together. It wouldn't look the correct way of doing kintsugi, but that's supposed to be the whole philosophy. That's, that's more natural, I guess. Exactly. You know? yeah. yeah. The next song is No Celestial. <laughs> This song was really fun because I feel like this album takes a lot of like genre turns Yeah And I wasn't expecting this one It reminded me a lot of Avril Lavigne mm. Like 2000s punk rock That was a rebellious genre too And this song and this album is about Not necessarily being rebellious but like being strong Even though it was a sudden turn in the album, I felt like it matched very well. So like the title says, No Celestial. Celestial is related to outer space or the stars, the sky. And then they have a line about f -f 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 -fake wings. and Torozo down to earth, like I come down to earth. I'm not this like idyllic non-human being. I am actually a person that's like just doing my best, mm. which is a very new concept for girl groups because girl groups used to be like, oh my goodness, she's an angel. Like mm. she can do no wrong. Yeah. Yeah. So I like this song a lot. I think this is my favorite song in the album. Um, I really love this kind of like punk rock style. The lyric also, like it, I, I, I keep saying the same thing over and over yeah. because this is album concept, but it's like... <laughs> like, I don't care about what you imagine me about mm. <laughs> like i am me like it's your fantasy it's pretty cool that they can say this and then the in the song they can actually say like no effing angel you know like that's so cool also it kind of reminded me hot from um 17 because the <laughs> because like they're talking about fake wings like I, this oh, time Icarus. yeah this time they they take it off and they don't care about the wings mm. but it's also like it doesn't mean like only bad thing if my wings are off because mm. i'm still strong and you know i'm here yeah the last song of the album is good parts when the quality is bad but i am i just wanna love myself Someone said this title is very Gen Z, which I, sure. Gen Z, do you understand this title and why it is? Let us know in the comments. I said I love pop rock genre, but I also love this kind of things. I don't know what it is, but 
Like it's really、uh, a song you can listen to while you're driving and you feel good with a little bit of breeze out there coming into the car. And then while their message from the song is exactly the same as other four songs, it's very different, like a softer version.、Mm, different yeah. delivery. Yeah, different delivery. It can sound weak, but it's not actually. No matter how strong you deliver it, or no matter how like softly you deliver it, the message is the same. I think that's that's important to remember.、Mm. There are different forms of strongness. Yeah. When I heard this song, I immediately added it to my "It's Gonna Be Okay" playlist <laughs> that I listen to when I'm sad. You would. Yeah, it's just a really sweet song, and I like how honest. And like modern, it is. They have a lot of lines about like I'm looking at my phone and like feeling more and more down. <sighs> like sometimes I like Polaroid pictures better because more than 4K. More than 4K. <laughs> I'm sure all of us have been scrolling on our phone and felt worse and worse, but we still just keep doing it anyway because we don't know what else to do. <laughs> Those are very relatable lines, so I felt very comforted by that. Yeah, this is definitely my favorite song in the album, and I hope they believe it. I just really that's what I keep coming back to. Like in the documentary, I keep referencing the documentary. But in the documentary, Sakura Chan talks about how she feels like she has two inner selves complimenting her, like you're doing really well, like you can just keep going, and you got this. And the other side is like, why are you still so pujoke? Like why are you still so lacking?、Mm. Like you need to do better, get better. <sighs> Like I identify with that a lot, and also that's the industry she's in, where、mm. it's like the carrot and the stick. They'll like compliment them, and they'll feel really great about what they're doing, and then they'll put them down really hard, so they'll work harder.、Mm. So yeah, I just want to like keep them safe, and like they're putting out this really great message to their listeners, and I just hope they're taking care of themselves, and they're being taken care of, and find the good parts about themselves、mm. and each other too. That's very cute. Thanks. Onni roso, ajoshi roso. I just hope not just them, Le Seraphim members, but also producers of Le Seraphim and the company. I hope they remember this message they're trying to put that put out to all the people.、Mm. Just be a good reminder to themselves that they're gonna be okay as who they are, and people will love them. Anyways, just like this bug. Yeah, I love our, you. Making our footage imperfect, but that's okay. It's so natural, love invincible. Love the good parts. <laughs> but yeah, I I hope that happens. And then in the future, if they get tired, members get tired, and then they want to take a break instead of just saying like I'm fearless. They they can be fearless while being. You know, tired. So take a good break if they need to. So just, just for the future reference, just remember what song you guys all made.、Mm -hmm. Yeah. Our new interest, Luciferfilm. They are on a lot of YouTube shows. Just watch their content.、Um, leave good comments. Enjoy their music. Yeah. You're just making this an advertisement yeah, for them yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Of course, <laughs> free advertisement. Cute. We have a couple other <laughs> album reviews for Seventeen and IU, so you can check those out as well. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye.